Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, you're live on Facebook. You are live on. You might be live on YouTube. Might be, might be, might be, might be. Hey, <laughs> didn't quite work it. All right, hey guys, uh, welcome to On Set. I am Daniel Norton. If you don't know, we are live on YouTube and Facebook. Is Facebook gonna? Facebook seems okay for now, guys, but if it starts to get weird, jump to YouTube, jump to YouTube you know. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about using kind of uh, affordable, did I say affordable? Inexpensive. We're gonna use cheap lights. So uh, <laughs> this is always a fun one to do. We, I usually do it at this time of year um, because everybody's being cheap, I guess, at the end of the year. But you, this is when you should be spending money, right? Because you, so you don't pay taxes. Uh, we pay less taxes, I should say, if you have a business. Taxes. <laughs> don't evade taxes. But well, you know, you got to make sure you're spending enough money so you to balance. That's a whole other video. Um, anyways, we're going to work with some inexpensive lights, and we're going to talk about uh, so the realities of it, I guess, is, is, is why I like to do this. It's fun to, to see what you can do, especially when you're on a budget or you're just starting or you're just trying to like experiment or maybe there's a reason why you want to make something. But don't take from this, as you might take if you watch a lot of videos about cheap lighting, that you don't need to buy good lights because they're, they're ripping you off. That's not the case. And we'll talk about why uh, some lights cost more and what the advantages to that are. Whether or not that is going to be important to you, you know, it depends on where you're at and what you're doing. So um, we're going to start off. Uh, I have Marissa here. And Seth's over here on the Mighty Mix. Uh, OK. And uh, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to make some pictures. So, Generally speaking, we are going to get into a little bit of flash photography as well, but I'm going to start off using constant light sources because I think that constant light sources are often the, the simplest way to learn when you're first starting because if you're already taking pictures on some level, you're already using light that's there, right? You're using either light that's in a space or the sun or coming through a window. So you're used to kind of working that way, right? You're seeing the light and you're exposing to it. You're used to working your camera like that. So the first kind of logical step is to step into something that's a constant light. Now, I went out yesterday to uh, a certain hardware store. Um, and I picked this up. Uh, this was $8. Um, this is a, a, a called a, a flood lamp or a photo flood uh, type lamp, right? It's like a big dish. Uh, it's not that big. I was too cheap to buy the $10 one that was bigger. Um, and in it is a light bulb. Now, because of uh, environmental issues or whatever, uh, they don't sell really bright uh, tungsten lights anymore. They basically sell LEDs. This is like a four watt LED that's listed as about a hundred watt equivalent, right? Um, this is going to be not so bright, but it's going to give us control of light. Now, if we understand how light works, right, the, your hardness or softness of your light, so basically the shadow edge is controlled by the size of it. The bigger the light is, the softer it is, meaning you'll get a shadow edge that kind of bleeds over beautifully. The, uh, the smaller your light source, kind of the punchier the edge will be. In addition to that, this is silver, which is going to help us throw a little extra light, but it's also going to make our highlights pop. That's called specular. The light's going to be specular versus being diffused. So we know that we have this light. It's going to work. This is going to show detail. It's going to show texture because it's hard. It's going to make highlights pop. So it might be good for some type things. Let's say that you had a, a beautiful young model. I don't have that, so I have Marissa. Uh, <laughs> so come forward and to be judged. I didn't clean up the floor, so there's dust. All right, so Marissa's here. The C stand is backwards. Oh, your shirt! Yeah, no. That's so cool. I actually balanced that ukulele on my head. Yes, that was on. And so, was that you who asked? How, how, was it Fernando? He's like, how'd you get the ukulele on her head? And what I said was, that's just the shape of her head that she can do. The... All right, I'm just gonna do this, even though it's wrong. Watch Seth's uh, video on C stands to know why that's wrong. Okay. We've got our light. We're ready. We're going to make a shot. Now, I can tell you, well, I guess we'll kill the lights in here so we can see what this looks like. Bye-bye, online audience. Is it on? I'll turn it on. Yep. Don't look right at it, because it's going to be bright. OK. Let's say that I was, uh, you know, that Mercer was up for the latest role as James Bond, Jane Bond, maybe. And I was interrogating her, right? I would shove this light in her face. Right? Bright light. No, so, like exactly. So this is going to be a punchy, direct light on her. Now, we 
as photographers, are going to shape the light to create what we want. If I'm creating kind of a beautiful shot on, on a model, I generally want my light to be more or less in the middle. Uh, but first, you point at the audience. That's important. I'm going to go like that. Yes, exactly. You'll, you'll think it looks better if, if you're blinded. So I'm going to go like this. I'm, I'm, now, I'm using an $8 light, but a $150 stand, but that's OK. I didn't say it was a cheap accessories uh, demo. right? I come forward. So if we're only working with one light source like this, right, we need to be conscious of where the back, uh, the conscious of where the shadow is falling behind her. And because it's a constant light source, I can see that shadow. Right? I see the shadow behind her. So if I want my shadow to be not behind her, there's a, well, it's, it's always going to be behind her. I could raise the light, which is going to make the shadow go lower, right? But it doesn't just affect the shadow on the wall. It also affects all the shadows on her face, right? We're going to get longer shadow on the nose. We're going to get more shadow under the neck. If you want this shirt, you can find it on my. I want to get one for you. Uh, all right. Uh -huh. All right. So we're going to go like that. That gets rid of the shadow because I'm just making a portrait. The other thing this is going to do is it's going to give us nice cheekbones, right? Because we're going to have shadow coming down from her cheek. So it's going to narrow the face and make it beautiful. So that's all wonderful. And you guys are like, Daniel, why do you even have good lights? Because, or expensive lights, or whatever you want to call them. Because this looks great. Well, let me bust up my light meter here. This is the Sekonic L308XU. You can't see it because it's dark. <laughs> can you turn the light back on so I can show it? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, but so, you have to shut up because you're measuring. I know, I know, I know. I just want to show it. So basically, it, with this light meter, I'm going to, can you see it? Yeah. We're going to put in our uh, ISO and our shutter speed, let's say, that we desire. And it'll give us a, a I'm sorry, the ISO and the, yeah, the shutter speed, and it'll give us an aperture. You can also do it the other way. You can put in the, the uh, that's the way I do it because I'm old. The new light meters do also the other way. You can put in the shutter speed, and it'll give you the, I mean, the uh, aperture, and it'll give you the shutter speed. So generally, right, we're, we generally want to shoot around uh, 100 ISO to get the best possible, uh, you know, noise ratio in our images. But come on, this light is not that bright. I'm going to go to 400 ISO. Whoa. And let's see, I want to be around F8. So I'm going to put in 400 ISO F8. I'm going to point my light meter at the light source. Ah, perfect. That is a 30th of a second. OK, 30th of a second. Now, another factor we have to work on here. We need to know what color temperature this light is. This is actually, it's said on the box that it is uh, 4,000. So I'm going to trust it. So I'm going to go into my camera, and I'm going to set my white balance. White balance. So I normally even on flash because I'm often shooting flash. Nope, that's not it. Boop, hit the eye. There it is, white balance flash. K. So I'm putting in the, you can't see this, so I'm just going to say it. So I put it in the K mode, which is my kiloven mode. And I'm just going to go to 4,000. We'll start there, right? So I'm, I'm at uh, 30th of a second. What is that, ISO 400? So it actually gave me 8, 9, which is almost 11. So I'm going to go actually to, I'm going to keep it at F8, but I'm going to actually go to a 50th. That should give us approximately what we want. We can go chin up a smidge. Good, good, good. OK, good, right? It's a little warm because this is not a professional bulb, right? This bulb told me it was 4,000. Guess what? It's not going to be 100% accurate. If you buy bulbs that are designed for photography, what they say on them will be correct because they're made for that, right? This inexpensive bulb is not going to be super accurate, so we're a little on the warm side. But I can easily adjust that. Uh, 50, actually, you don't really need expensive lights. Thanks for coming, guys. We're What's that? Oh, this is a Nikon Z6, and it has a 24 to 70 lens on there. I was about 50 millimeters there because 50 millimeters is the best way to shoot, right, Vanessa Joy? OK, so that's not bad, right? You guys are like, Daniel, that's actually not bad. Thank you. Now, if I want to invest three more dollars, I, I don't know if Marissa's worth it, but I'm going to risk it. This here 
is a reflector. This is a knockoff, so it's only $3. If you want the original Brooklyn reflector, they are $300. But I buy the knockoffs. I'm going to bounce this in. Chin up a smidge. Oops. Good, good, good. Right there. Boom. And we can fill it in, right? And now she's filled in. She's super tall because she's standing on heels, but she's filled in. Hmm. I think I like it with the shadow, but that's just me. Yeah, it's still warm. I haven't fixed it yet. Uh, where's my white balance thingy? That's all right. It's an icon. It's an icon. I can hold it. All right. All right, so we don't have the white balance thingy with us, so I'm just going to adjust it by eye. Oh, the target? The target, yeah. You could do it upon the actual reflector, though. I could do it on the reflector. It's probably close. You can do white balance on, or on a... There's so many uses for it. Hold my coffee. Oh, it's so baller. All right, so let's say you don't have a white balance card because we're in the inexpensive mode. Oh, what does that door do? Oops, there we go. All right, we're going to take a picture of Marissa with the coffee. Right? She's like, oh, look, a coffee. But I can come over here to my eyedropper. Bam. Right? Because the coffee cup cover is white. Right? Hey. What? Nothing for that? Nothing for the coffee cup white balance? Come on, people. Now you're starting to steal my shit. I am stealing it. <laughs> but actually, you know what else you can do? Here you go. Use that as a reflector. Uh, did I do this already? Yeah, you did it already. I'm doing it again. I think you did it during your uh, Halloween. I might have. During Halloween. I don't really remember that day. I, I, I want to take that back. You were dressed like a chunky doll. <laughs> All right. Right? And we filled in with the coffee cup. Sure. sure <laughs> a little bit. Sure okay, so we got the cheap light. We got the reflector. We got the color balance. Good. Let's actually get a better shot with the reflector, though. I'm going to back up to 70. Let's bring this in. Let's get one good shot here. Good, good, good. All right. All right, so that's not terrible, right? So how did I get my original aperture? So how did I choose my depth of field? Well, that's a good question. The way that I did it was I generally like to shoot around F8 when I shoot portraits because it gives me enough depth of field that the whole head is going to be in focus. It's just the way I like to shoot. If you want to shoot more wide open, you can also do that. Um, can I get the lights for I want to show the meter again. So I said it, but then I didn't show it, so I'll show it. No lights? All right, we're not going to have any lights, guys. Sorry, you can't see. OK. So again, we've got three things on this meter, right? We've got. You got your aperture, you got your uh, ISO, and then you've got your shutter speed. And when you meter, it will adjust. And in this case, it's giving me an, uh, a shutter speed that I want, right? I put in my aperture, I put in my ISO, it's giving me the shutter speed. Because I did figure out how to do it really quickly. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You can also do it the other way. So I know that I want that. If you, if you, on the other hand, you want a more wide open aperture, you could do that too. Like I could just go like this. This goes to f4, this lens. So I could just go. Move this down to f4 and do a reading there. Of course, that's not going to be the reading on her. I have to do it over here. So I go like that, f4, boom. Now I'm 125 at four and a half, right? That means that I can shoot a little faster. If I think maybe she's going to jump around or my hand is not so steady and I want to shoot with a faster shutter speed, you know, I can shoot at 125 at f4 if I want. But we can see here that this actually looks better than I thought it did. So what it was going to. So now I feel like we're done. So go to Home Depot, guys. Uh, Pick up a more. Get yourself. <laughs> get yourself. All right. So we're going to go to F4. Let's see. I'm going to go to 125. I'm going to go to F4 and a half, which is, I guess, 6.3-ish. Um, and we're going to try it with more shallow depth of field and a faster shutter. I'm going to come in closer, too, because I showed way too much of the top of her head in that one. Right? And now we've got a tighter shot, no reflector this time, of course, but we can see that our exposure is still good. I might actually go to 7.1. Let's hold that in there. Nice and clean. Okay. 
right? Now we're filled in with the, with the reflector if we like that better. Actually, I'm going to go to brown tones. I think I'm going to go down to 5.6. I'm going to go to 5. I did my math backwards. Ooh. There we go. Daniel was doing backwards math and nobody called me on it. I went the wrong way, right? I wanted a, a brighter picture and I went the wrong way because I haven't had enough coffee. Okay, so that makes sense, right? Cheap light, right? Easy. But, oh, what have we got as, as constraints? The light's got to be really close, right? It's going to be hard because as soon as I start modifying this light, if I want to throw a diffusion on it or something, it's going to eat up so much light that it's going to be almost unusable on a person. But if you're shooting a certain kind of subject, a Marissa, right, in this situation, you can get a pretty good shot with just that light, right? It's actually pretty good. Would you say that was pretty good? Oh, yeah, you know, that's not bad. Let's say, though, let's say, for instance, it's happening. It's happening, Seth. Let's see if it fits. Let's say we're like, you know what? I don't like those constant lights like the kids use. I want a flash. Not just any flash. Oh, no. Yes. But the coolest flash ever made by man or woman. This is the Smith Victor flashlight. Perfect. Now, you could spend a lot of money on a pro photo. <laughs> but this is a AC slave flash. Uh, when was the last time we saw one of those, Cliff? I haven't seen one in a long time. Right? This has an E26 base, so it plugs into, screws into a regular light. The little top comes off here, which you can put gels in there if you want. It was made in 1993. It looks kind of like the pro photo C1. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> me too. All right. That's hot. Okay. Here we go. This has never been done before on TV. Yeah, good thing. Okay. All right, I'm going to plug this in. I know what you're saying. You're like, Daniel, how could such an epic thing exist? And for only 1995. <laughs> I think that's actually what it costs. That's the year it was made. That's the year it was made. <laughs> now, the only problem that I have is I need a way to fire it. And my very expensive Nikon camera does not have an X-Sync, does it? We already discussed this. The guide number of the AC slave. So the guide number of that AC slave is somewhere on the box that I threw away. <laughs> yeah, there's no X-Sync on this, so I'm going to have to fire it with another flash. OK. It is, I literally threw the box away, I think. Well, it a 45 watt? It's a 45-watt it's a watt second flash. Well, the guide number is 45, I think. So we've got this here, and you can, you can see that if I was to do a test flash, it's a flash, right? Now, it is an AC slave, which means that it needs to fire when it sees another flash fire. However, I only have one flash, so I'm going to use a flash on top of my camera to fire it. And for that, we're busting out the big guns. I put it back in the box. I put it back in the box. This, my friends, I mean, how much money you got in your pocket? Everybody start getting the changes together. This is the Flashpoint Zoom Leon. It's named after the very famous photographer Leon. This is like a $50 flash. Actually, it's probably whatever, I never, whatever I say the price is, people are always like, that's not the price. Big bucks. Huh, huh, impressive, right? This thing is a manual flash. It uses a, uh, Lithium ion body, uh, battery. Oh, maybe that's why it's called. That's why it's called yeah, yeah, that might be the reason. Boy, why. Okay. There you go. All right. Oh, my. Okay. There's a lot of stuff on the back of this. Okay, because I only want it to set my flash off and not affect my exposure so much, I'm going to set it at its minimum setting, which is 1 128th. So if you use the metric system, you're screwed here. You know, you got to go with fractions. We're going to turn this on. I'm not going to tighten it all the way. I'm going to do a quick test flash. Oh, it turned off the heat. All right. All right, it set that one off. You guys saw that, right? Because there wouldn't be a flat, there wouldn't be a shadow right there on the ground if it wasn't that flash going off. All right, here we go. I got my meter. Whew. 
Now I'm switching it. I apologize. Wow. <laughs> there's like, oh, right now, like there's like this moment where everybody's like on the edge of their seat. You're that guy in the movie theater. <laughs> That's your theater. Yes, I am. I like it. Okay. You, you I'm going to change it. Wait, she's got a call. Oh, yeah. I'll put it on speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. You get zoom the camera on you. You got to take comments on YouTube. You get highlighted when your phone is on a demo. Okay. All right. I'm leaving it at 400 ISO. I am switching to the flash mode, non-corded flash, which means that when a flash fires, it will read. So I'm going to have Marissa hold it because she's an expert at this. I'm going to fire this. Probably should put this up in the air. What does it say? 12560. Holy guacamole! F64. Yeah. That's very bright. Okay, because you, you, you probably have two strobes going into it at once. All right, let's try that again. That, let's just make sure that's correct. Oh, didn't fire. Which one didn't fire? The top one? Of course it didn't. Why would this work correctly? All right, here we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so what does it say? F64, I think that's right. <laughs> Cliff, can you get F64 out of the profile? <laughs> well, get out of 400. All right, I'm going to switch my ISO down to 100, like normal people use. Jesus, man. All right, F32, that's workable. Sure. All right, I'm at F32. I think it's reading both. It probably is. We could put a piece of gaff tape here, and you could point it up. Look. Okay, didn't I didn't want I didn't want to break it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just said it's too cheap to turn? <laughs> Is that what you just said? I thought that it was gonna break. <laughs> All right. Because I only have a cheap Nikon, my, my lens only goes to 22. I clearly practiced all this first. Get ready. All right, let's just test. Don't look at it. Oh, there we go, perfect. All right, here we go. I just want to see because I'm curious. Ah, no, no, it's, it's F32. Wow, that's a beast of a light. Wow, all right, good. <laughs> Let me erase the part of the thing where I say it's not going to be very bright. Okay, this is very bright, right? <laughs> this is going to be a problem for us because we can't control the power, right? It just, it is what it is, right? So I'm going to have to make it work. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the inverse square law. Okay, you guys doing the math on that? So you're actually glad you gripped that light, right? I am glad. <laughs> guys, we're gonna build the most amazing light right now. Okay. No, no, we got this. Yeah. This is gonna be, is it hitting her still? Well, you, oh, you wanna rip it through? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go like this. Hold on, oh, okay. get ready okay. for this, guys. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Bam! I got you. Now, amazing. you have never seen this before on TV. Because I sure as heck wasn't planning on doing it this way. <laughs> do you have an above a camera angle? Well, I do, but I lost the light meter. Did you? Can you rewind the tape to see where I put it? Are you I think, I, put it over I think so too. Hey guys, we're we're uh, this we got this under control. A rehearse? <laughs> What's rehearsing? Is We're just gonna go pocket? for it. Is it in your no, I don't have it. Do you guys see where I did with the light meter? You only have Sakonic in the in the audience too. <laughs> Don't worry, I care a lot about your light meters. All right, here we go. All right, Seth had it over there, clearly. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go like this. This is gonna be epic. There we go, four eight. We'll call that five six and be done with it. Now you might be thinking, Daniel, what? And I'm thinking, yeah, you're right. All right, here we go. Chin down a bit. Oh, still bright though. What? Why you, oh, ISO 400 still? Uh, I didn't get my ISO back down. Sorry, guys. I changed it on the light meter, but not on the camera. Yeah, 40 minutes deep. I'm yet to 40 minutes deep. I haven't got a single shot. Well, watch that though. Very blue. It is very blue. All right, now we've got Marissa, sharp like a Nikon should be, <laughs> right? <laughs> We're at. Uh, ISO 100, so uh, we're roughly the same f-stop as, as we were doing at the end of this guy. 
Oh, well, it's very blue because. Oh, that's not how you do it. Hey, Patty. This is not a dog. She. All right. Wow. All right. So, what do we have going on here? White balance. Daniel then says white balance. Now I can just go back here. Let me click on the right image, though. I'm going to change my white balance to flash. Uh, boop. There we go. All right, let's shoot a closer shot so that I can actually uh, size them up. I got to tell you, with this cheap light, I might get, just start shooting with these cheap lights. This is actually pretty good. I don't know, guys. Oh, ho, 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 double sandwich foam board. Boom. Clean.com. Okay. That's a Home Depot. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Large chain hardware store. Uh, light. It's not. It's not that. I'm lying. Why are you shaking your head? Why are you shaking your head? What? Go ahead. What? Diffuse it. Do you want me to diffuse the light? I mean, I could do that, but that costs more. <laughs> you want to use tissue paper? Roll tissue paper? Yeah, we'll put it on the top like a little. Oh, you want to use cheap? Oh, we're going to use tissue paper. Forget about this beautiful gel that I paid $6 for. Well, that's super this is, the, this is the 216. If you want to be cool when you're on sets and stuff, be like, you know what this needs? You don't say diffusion. Nobody says diffusion. What do you say? 216. Can you get me a 216? Boom. You know why it's called 216? Because it says it right there in the corner, right? Exactly. 216. There you go. 216. Okay. All right. That's okay. Yes, that's what we're using. So this uh, was actually from a tattoo session. This is from <laughs> Seth's. Uh, he wraps his presents in this when he gives him a, a Hanukkah next week. It's Hanukkah next week. Or the week after. Who knows the holiday? Oh, I don't know. It's coming up. All right, here we go. We're doing this. Don't you do a demo like this? Yeah, you've been taking everything from me. And then Hold that. I'm, I'm going to. That's right. I'm going to go, and then I'm going to, this is a sharp knife. This is a, a Swiss Army knife. Like Zorro. Like Zorro. Because we're doing cheap lighting, I'm not going to even use a fancy gaff tape. I'll use this uh, 89 cent electrical tape that I bought, if I can find the end of it. That's why it's 89 cents. That's right. How do you want to suspend it? You want to do a double arm? Well, I think, no, I want to put it over the, uh, yeah, I want to, uh, if you, uh, blah, blah. We'll take this, yeah. and we'll tape it to the edge of it, and then you just do this so it kind of like, okay. and dangles. Right. That should work, right? I kind of want this. What's that? I kind of want this now. What? It's the? very well. Just set up. You like it, right? We're going to set this up for Marissa in her house so she can take her own pictures. It's, it's electrical tape. Okay. Do you want to close pin it here? That looks epic. What? Do you want to close pin this here? Yeah, I think so. We got. Do we have one? See. All right, we're getting an A clamp. We're adding to this. When you get when you do an A clamp, you get what you pay for, guys. So you can get cheaper ones for like a buck, but they won't hold that well. So just be wary of that. All right. Okay, we're pretty good. And then we got to hold the reflector too. Now this is going to eat up a little bit of light, so we'll have to meter it. I gotcha. Actually, By the way, I'm still using way less lighting than, than the cost-wise than the C-stand that I have. All right, here we go. You want me to fix it? Got it? Yeah. Okay. Testing. All right, here we go. Uh, four and a half ish. Listen, after you shoot this, click on that and hit enter. Oh boy! All right, after I shoot this, I'm gonna click on that and hit enter. All right, guys. Welcome to how I gotta do my demo. Yep. All right, look good because this is gonna be the good one. Boom. Click on the click on the block. 
Click on the black. Click on the, just hit click. Just click. Click hit no, just the mouse. Click, yeah. Now hit enter. That a boy. Boom, but it's overexposed though. Dan's got a well, new really. skill, everybody. Look at that. So that's more diffused, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a little hot. This light is not going to be consistent, right? Why is it not consistent? It's not for because it's, exactly, because it's a couple bucks. Like, what are you going to complain about? So let's take another one because it's not consistent. But I just wanted to show you the difference. So this is uh, overexposed, clearly. All right, here we go. Do one more. Huh. Why is it brighter? Oh, you know what? You're bouncing off of this with the flash. Yeah. Oh. Bouncing off of this. That's what's happening. There is so much stuff going on. So when I meter this, I have to put the flash here because it's bouncing off of this because somebody made me use diffusion. <sighs> Audience members. All right, we got this. <laughs> Good thing you're saving all this <laughs> <Yeah>. money. Yeah, <laughs> almost a stop more light. Actually, this is kind of nice. It's a, weird it's a weird fill. That's weird. a picture of the inside of my house it's for some reason. A negative fill. That guy's a down. Yeah, that guy's a down. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna go, uh, here we go, this is F8. F8 and B there. There oh. we go. All right, so now we are diffused. We are bounced. And we're still using, look, you can kind of see something in there, all right? Oh, yeah. Now, when you use this lighting setup, so there it is. Where's the, oh boy. <laughs> There's that. This is just the bounce. You can put it down. OK, so here we go, guys. We've got this set up so far, right? We've got the finished shot with the diffusion. We got a shot here with a new diffusion. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Aren't you a Capture One affiliate? I am a Capture One affiliate. <laughs> new diffusion. And then before that, we got pictures of the floor. And then we got just the, the, the hot light, right? A couple different things going on here. With the hot light, right, with the little LED bulb, we're getting more contrast because the light is closer to her, right? Quicker fall off. The background is black because the light's not spreading. So it's giving us a different look. If we want this bigger, softer look that's in these other shots, then we're going to, you know, our background's going to be lit up as well, which could be good or bad, right? Depends on if you want the background uh, lit. Thank you, Seth. OK. That's not bad for large chain department store, no, hardware store, $8 light, right? And Adorama, $20 uh, slave, yeah, right? You know, give a big screen about that, possibly going on fire with hot lights. OK, so be weary, though. So if you're going to use things that are not like proper diffusion, because we use this uh, paper here that Seth had, they might burn, right? So using flash, in theory, we should be OK. But if we're using a hotter lamp, like even this LED we're using, we might actually have a problem. So be wary of using that stuff that's not officially diffusing. So I would probably, if you're going to buy diffusion, you know, unless you're in a pinch, buy actual diffusion. Because this will not burn. It will melt, but it will not burn. So that's important. OK, does that make sense? How are we doing so far? Was it $8? I shouldn't have bought any other lights. This is like the perfect light. So while we're still ahead, and I have room to kind of screw up, and you guys won't hate me because we got two good shots already. Um, while I was at large hardware store place, because I thought to myself, you know what's a great thing? LED strip things. Yeah. Yes. People like LEDs. I like LEDs. I hate them. Yeah, you do. <laughs> this was $19. Plus, I bought this extension cord. Um, warning, if you don't know how to do electrical stuff, Google somebody else how to do it. I don't want you to blame me. So I, I wired this together with this extension cord, which was $3. Uh, and I'm going to make this beautiful LED strip type light. Now, yeah, there's battery powered ones that people sell for $400. But if you just get a long extension cord, you'll be fine at a wedding, right? I mean, why not? OK. <laughs> Hold the slight. All right, here we go. I actually want to know my invoice for my grip. Right. <laughs> All right. This one is also 4,000. Apparently, 4,000 is popular. Kelvin. Yeah, let's kill the overheads for a second. 
Oh, by the way, you know what's cool about these uh, slaves? <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> it's still holding its charge, right? See, see, if I was a jerk, I would have fired it all into your face when you were looking at it. But it, it's still holding its charge, so you could theoretically charge it up and then run someplace and be like, all right. I don't know why you do that, but it seems fun on Halloween. All right. Oh, yeah. I said I was going to give these away. Who wants a slave? Stop saying that. You're welcome. Can, can you post that Dan Norton gave me a slave? No. <laughs> Please. Oh, boy. Seth is causing trouble. I don't make up nomenclature. All right. LED strip. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. Well, actually, you get to freeze the hell out of that. Uh, yeah, but look how nice that is, though. So. It's, like it's a wrap lens. Oh. Should we start with it like this first, though? Well, your gel will hold the shape better, so. Close your eyes again like that. A lot of veins in your eyelids. Yeah, All right. Does. I mean, it's more you have veiny eyelids. All right, so here we go. <laughs> You're definitely a pale person. All right. Your life. I feel your pain. All right, because I care about. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side for now. This is the Flashpoint, blah, blah, blah. I know, Patty, I said I wasn't going to use Flashpoint, but this is the only thing I can find. All right. All right. This one, I'm going to meter. OK, can you quickly go over that? You, OK, that, so. No, no, can you quickly go over, like, yes, you wear this, like, better gear, and why do you use better gear? Because there's, like, the whole thing going on. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't say that at the beginning. It, there, it's... Hey, guys, online that are fighting. <laughs> I don't care about you in the store. So like I said at the beginning, this is kind of to show you, you know, using principles of light that you can actually get good shots. This is not a substitution for actual gear. I'm, I'm mostly joking, clearly. Um, there's reasons. I mean, if I wanted that first shot with the flash, it was F64, right? I couldn't control it. A good flash system is going to give me a lot more control, more consistent color, faster recycle. There's reasons to buy good equipment. But you know what? Some stuff is fun to play with, and, and I'll like to see what you do with that one. All right, so here we are. I'm, I'm out of flash mode. Listen, once per year, I can use inexpensive stuff. It's, my, it's in my contract. So I'm going to come here again. I think I want to make sure I'm going to put my shutter speed in since I know how to do that. Uh, 125 ISO. We'll put it at ISO 100 to see what we get. I'm just curious how bright this is. Huh, 209. Not bright enough. So I'm going to go ISO 200 because I have a f4 lens. So I should be able to get f4 at 125. Hold that for me. Uh, at, boop. I will definitely break my. I'm so used to using non-corded stuff. All right, so I'm going to go f4. I'm going to go 125th of a second. I'm going to go ISO 200. Actually, I'm going to go ISO 250. You know why? Whoever uses ISO 250, nobody. They're always like 200, 400. It's like 250. That's where it's at. That's what the kids are doing. That's what the kids are doing. Hashtag All right. It's like a lightsaber. It is like a lightsaber. But that's a joy. Is this like something you'd use on a wedding? She's like, no. She says you will not be fined at a wedding with that. <laughs> Oh, I didn't set my white balance, but I gotta tell you, that's not that's not shabby. It's not, not too shabby. Uh, not too shabby. Let's see if it, how white her eyes are. Yeah, whitish. All right, so that's not terrible, right? So here I am. I want to make a different portrait of, of Marissa. I'm like, oh, I have a special light that I'm gonna use. I gotta charge extra for this. And I bring this in, and I'm like, look at how beautiful it makes your skin tone. And I shoot the picture, and then she's like, oh my god, that's beautiful. And you're done, right? I mean, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. That's the cover of every cheap modifier. This box. is the cover of every cheap <laughs> modifier box. That's actually true. OK. And this is a cheap modifier. 20 bucks. Wait, wait, do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, I have to have a camera when I do it, too. I know. you got to bend down. The only problem with this is that I, there's no way to put it on a stand without buying some kind of a clamp. We can clamp it. But yeah. Good. I'm going to get more lighter. Oh. I'm going to get more lighter around the front of her because there's a reflector there. there we go. And now it's, you know. You get this jaw kick. Now we get the jaw kick. As Seth says. Yeah, I like the shadow, but if you don't like the shadow, that's like the cheap modifier. That's like the mid range <laughs> modifier. <a> cheap <laughs> right, that's a cheap bounce. <laughs> but that's not terrible, right? And here it is it's a LED strip. So if you don't, you know, I get lots of DMs of people who are like, I can't afford the stuff that you have, which is, you know, neither could I when I first bought it. Uh, you know, it takes time to accumulate equipment. But the reality is that you can, if you understand light, you can make things that will work on some level. Is this as good as? or consistent as something like a 
what do they call that thing? Fool. Attaboy. Oh, ice light, right? No, of course not. And you're not going to actually walk around. I mean, I'd walk around a wedding like this because I'm, I'm, that's how like I am. Color yeah, you're going to get better, more consistent color with the ice light. It's going to have control. You can dim it, right? Wow. This, more power. This is like, this is actually made to put in your like shop, you know. So, so you could actually, when you're done with this, you could like put it in your bathroom and install it in the wall, right? Uh, do your makeup. But this is a quick little light that, that I, it took me like five minutes to put this thing together. So if I was someplace and I needed this quick light source, I could pull it off, right? I could make it because I did it. I just did it. I did it myself. I did it myself. Face me. I'm gonna do like a like a, this thing. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Hold on. Hold on. Good. Okay, well, I didn't re meter it. That's pretty grim. That is grim. I didn't meter it again. You want to try a silver bounce on that? Yeah, let's do a silver bounce, but I got to give more. That's, I put it further away. Uh, I'm going to go ISO 400. Actually, you know what? Since it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you a holiday gift. Okay. Can you actually meter it for me? Actually, I like No holiday gift for me. All right, I brought my ISO up. That's not terrible. Oh, here it is. Not terrible. This is for you. Is that, oh, foil. Let's give a, oh, look. Ooh. Oh, so if you want to, if you can make a potato or a Marissa. Uh -huh. Like if I'm baking something. Yes. Beauteous, there it is. Ooh. Ooh. There we go, there go. right? Piece of tin foil, cheap LED light, Marissa, right? That's all you need, easy. Now, there's no way to turn this off, so I'm just gonna hold it in my hand. <laughs> right? We're thinking about what light does. We like that style, right? That kind of strip light style. We're creating something inexpensively because we understand what we're trying to create. If you just build random things, it's not gonna solve any problems, but this can be fun to kind of work around with to see what you get. That's actually not terrible. Not terrible, Marissa. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty high compliment, right? Okay, I think we got that one. Oh, you want something else with this? Why don't we bounce light off the silver? Oh, just off the silver? Yeah. Okay, you do that. Do you want to hold it and everything and do the whole thing? Thanks, Seth. Thank you, Seth, for your excellent ideas and skill as a photographer. So it's like more of a corner. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Moody. Okay, I'm going to re-meter. I'm going, ISO, I'm going to go ISO 800 because we're losing a lot of light here. I don't want to meter out of the camera. I have the Sekonic 308. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to go ISO. Oh, jeez, really? Yep. Oh, good thing I have a Nikon. I'm going to ISO 2000. Man, the last time I started at ISO 2000, Cliff had hair. I can't use the Cliff hair joke as well as he does, but... So I'm F4 at ISO 2000. Make sure the light doesn't suck. <laughs> oh, it's going to suck. Oh, that's interesting. I'll do a half face, so it'll be more like a. Oh, so you're going to do my whole thing? Yeah. Attaboy. Okay. Now I won't do a half face because I don't do that. It's interesting. It's got a little bit more of a natural vibe to it. That's, that's actually kind of scattered. I like that. Not yeah. terrible. Yeah, it's, so it's uh, more you know, organic. Yeah, it's more organic versus like a you know, clean ish yeah. versus you know, like more of a beauty. So depending on how you want to roll, yeah, I kind of like that the best, actually. So interesting, right? Playing around with light, knowing what light does. What does tinfoil do besides baked potatoes? It right? shuts the light off. It, oh, oh, yeah, that's negative. No, it's not negative. <laughs> it does. Right, there's no way to turn this off uh, except unplugging it, which I'm looking for the plug, but I guess we should turn the lights on here before we do that. Gotcha. Yes? Can you do a lighting to oh boy, can I? minimize Yes. That was two demos ago. <laughs> Done. Can't, Done. Can't hear them. Done. They can't hear them. Okay. Can can you do lighting to minimize the wrinkles? Yeah, that lighting will minimize wrinkles on an older person. What about darkness under the eyes? This this lighting will minimize darkness under the eyes. This lighting will do everything that you want. The reason why is because the light is coming in at an angle flat to the camera. None of the shadow. Right? Darkness under the eyes, wrinkles are all caused by shadow. If the angle of the light is coming in, actually, this, the, the other one, it will, too, it will too. Whenever you have a light that's coming in at an angle that's flat, I mean, also, even the bounce light will do that. Wow, we did a lot of overexposed shots, huh? Well, you know, 
Yeah. You know how to shoot. Good. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> right? That's going to minimize, right? Because it's flat. Flat minimizes because wrinkles and seeing uh, shadows uh, th through the eyes has to do with the the light causing shadows down, right, or up, yeah. right? And that's what does that. So that's how you do that. Simple enough. What you don't want to do. See, here's the thing. Whenever you're, you're learning photography, because somebody wrote this book in 1975, and they were like, look, here's a lighting diagram. And ever since then, everybody does the same lighting diagram. They take the light, and they go like this. They put it at, where do they put it at? 45. Degrees. 45. Never do that. That's the worst thing in the world. What's that going to do? It's going to throw shadow where? Across their face. What does shadow do? It shows wrinkles, right? This is not flattering lighting. It's boring, unless she looks into it. If she looks into it, now the light is going directly at her. All shadow goes through her head. Now there's no wrinkles, right? You got to think about where the person's looking. I'll steal something from Seth. Your nose is like a sundial. Oh, you're right. <laughs> so that, right? Wherever they turn is going to throw a shadow. Shadow is texture, right? But if you want to minimize uh, wrinkles and all this, if you want generally a larger light source, but you also want a more punchy light source to get rid of things like under the eye bags because you need it to hit, right? Okay, so Marissa's, you, you're way yeah. back there. You don't see how terrible she looks. Yeah, she's terrible in person. You can't even imagine. Actually, five videos from now. <laughs> you remember that video? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, we wait till you see that one. In five weeks on Monday, <laughs> there'll be a video where Marissa's got pretty big. Uh, I, I create fake eye circles under her eyes and then get rid of them. I'll say they're fake because we have a contract that says I can't. All right. Did we use everything already? What time is it? Oh, yeah, we got to give stuff away. Oh, well, hold on. I feel like I didn't use something. What didn't I use yet? Oh, the umbrella. OK, so you know, using a piece of cardboard is fine. But this umbrella is like 12 bucks. Seth buys them whenever it's raining. They're actually, yeah, they're like five bucks. Uh, right here. You want a silver reflective one? No, I'll use this one first. This is translucent. I like translucent. Yeah, they're so cheap. These are very inexpensive. They're made by Savage. Actually, this is the not. This is probably like, this is this is a little slightly more expensive. Oh, that's a pretty good one too. Is that also Savage? It's, this is the same one as that. It's huh. just I use it when it rains. Okay. <laughs> so what does a translucent umbrella do? It spreads the light. The light. Spreads it. It makes the light source larger, which would make it soft. It also diffuses the light, which makes it less specular, right? So it reduces highlights. So this is going to give us a kind of a look like we got when we're bouncing all that stuff around like a maniac, except with just the one thing, right? So if we want to you know, splurge 12 bucks. Now I can take this. I know, we're getting up there now. Now you're probably spending like maybe 30 bucks. It's crazy. Oh, you got that clippy sound. All right, this is a Flashpoint uh, blah, blah, blah extension thingy. All right, this is basically an umbrella adapter with a socket in it. Socket umbrella adapter, we'll call it. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Daniel, you gave away the slip. I have another one. <laughs> All right, I have this one. This one is a, uh, this one's actually a Flashpoint one, I think. Same deal. Flashpoint being uh, Adorama's house brand. We know it's going to work for us. And I get, you know, Four cents every time I mention it. And it has a US warranty. <laughs> right, US warranty. Well, so does oh, Savage. Use this. I'll use it though. That, that's the finale. Oh, no. Because it might light on fire. Yeah, that's true. All right. I can't believe the first thing I built didn't burn. Who wants to? Wow. Don't show who's raised their hand. No one's raised their hand. <laughs> Nobody wants that. I don't want to carry anything. Like, we just made all that <laughs> amazing light with that thing. Oh, she wants the oh, bulb. You want the bulb? Yeah. Lady. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, good. But now you have to shoot something and post it and take yes. it in so you can cross yes. out his career. Yes, that's right. Make sure you do a better job than I did, which shouldn't be too difficult. All right, so here we go. C stand, $200. <laughs> Pin, $10. Marissa, priceless, right? Isn't that the way that commercial was? All right. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. I don't know why they pay somebody in the factory to screw all these things oh, in yeah. just so that I have to screw it back out. It's like you could just leave it. All right. It's about box space. <laughs> That's true. Oh, this neatly goes on here. Because they do it with a drill. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's probably one. All right, here we go.
All right, I got my light, we'll call it. Yeah. Hey, Facebook, you might be having problems. Uh, you might want to jump over to YouTube if you can. If it stutters, otherwise stay on Facebook because it's always fun to have the both. All right, we're going to take our umbrella. Marissa's going to step out of the way for a second. Where's the... All right. Okay. Oops. Uh -huh. Okay. This is how the pros do it. I got my AC triggering remote flash unit. Is that a more acceptable? Lisa? <laughs> so it's called, right? This has got sound bites for years now. Okay. That, there, that worked, right? No. It's charged. Oh, Come on, Flashpoint. It's here. Really? Okay. Well. Hang on, watch it. Sometimes when you buy inexpensive stuff, it doesn't work that well. Oh, oh, it's too tight. No, it's coming from the test trigger. Give it a second. Give it a second. Whew, good thing we got this instead of the Pro Photo. I gave away the good one. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> All right, lesson learned there. Well, hey. Buy this one. It's just as good. It's just as what good. It's just as good. It worked earlier. We tested it. I think we only tested that one because remember. All right, let's put it. All right. Nobody's going to want that one. All right. No, I fired them both earlier. Yeah, but the slave, the, um, the what? The, 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 the optical, what? The optical the, eye isn't seeing anything. The what? Yeah, but smell that. Oh, yummy. All right, yeah. good. Whew. So, guys, sometimes when you buy cheap stuff, it's stuck in the doesn't, basement. It gets doesn't mildewy work. and then doesn't fire again. All right, it doesn't always work properly. All right, so. <coughs> There's one thing Mercer deserves it's mildew. That's it. Okay. Did you test it? I tested it. Now we're going to do a light meter reading. Mercer's going to step in. Now we're looking professional, right? Before it was a little hokey. People were like, uh, you know, your client would come to the studio and they'd be like, you're going to put a piece of cardboard and a piece of vellum there? No wonder why it's only $43 for this photo shoot. But now, with this umbrella, 50 bucks at least. Oh, you have it on daylight, I have it on ambient mode. Yeah, there we go. There Let's go. put it back to flash. I mean, I, yeah, I got an idea. All right. Again, I have no control, so I got to just deal with it. So I'm at ISO 100. It's giving me almost F11, so that's what I'm going to shoot with because, uh, you know, there is one stop of variation in light. No, there's zero stops. <laughs> that's on the packaging. Zero variation. Okay, so we're almost F11. <laughs> ISO 100. Wow, these are bright, huh? It's weird. You Sony guys don't want these. They're too bright. All right. They're really blue, too. Well, yeah. OK. We might get that same bounce back weirdness, but we'll see what happens. It's important when you're, when you're having an umbrella, you can swish under it like this. That felt good. Oh, that's very blue. One day, you're going to wipe your own nose, kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. OK, there you go. That's what Marissa looks like in life, more or less. All right, so that's not terrible. Let's try again. What's good about an umbrella is you can kind of, like a baller. Can I have the reflector? Please. What, straight up? Straight up, now tell me it would. Good. All right. There we go, right? And, the, and there we go, that's Paula Abdul. All right, look at that shot, right? Beautiful, right? Nice, beautiful umbrella shot. This is going to be sharp. Oh, that is the wrong tool. Hold on. 
This is <laughs> this is going to be sharp as attack, right? We're at F something eleven, right? Right at F eleven, we're at two hundredth of a second. Oh, that's sunken. Sunk. That sink. Yeah, sunk. At two hundredth of a second, uh, ISO one hundred. Not terrible, right? We can actually shoot here. Now, this is not going to be tremendously fast, so we have to pace ourselves because, uh, yeah, please. One issue with these is that they're not fast, so watch. Boom. Oh, look, boom. You know, the second shot is probably going to be dark. Yeah, right? Because this takes like two seconds to recharge, right? So again, not it's going to be fast, but 19 bucks, free for you, right? Right, it's going to have a long flash duration, so it's not going to stop action as well. There's definitely reasons why this is not your ideal situation. Now, I'll also point out to anybody online or in here, I guess, um, these are master slaves, as they call them. So they, it has a sync cord, a sync port, I should say. You can plug a wire into this to your camera if your camera has a place to plug it in, or you can get a little adapter that goes on your hot sheet. You don't have to use a second flash to do it. I just didn't bring my adapter because I didn't realize this camera didn't have that because I haven't used a cord in so long. I'm basically cordless, like my telephone. Don't worry, you're gonna get back. He keeps looking like, he keeps, he's looking like, what, you gonna get back to me? That's mine, what are you doing? That's the last one left in those. That's the last one left in those. Right? <laughs> okay, but you see, umbrella, right? Umbrella simple, right? We're, we might be like 35 bucks in on this setup, right? And look at what we got, well. Yeah. And look at what we got, right? Not bad, right? Not great, but not bad. Let me see that other one. I wanna see if I can get to make it fire. I want to see if it fires as a slave from this one, because I feel like I got that to fire before. Yeah, I, I don't think the optic looks good. Let's plug it in this bad boy. Yeah, see, so here's the sync cord that comes with it. So if you have on your camera, like just about every Canon camera, uh, a place to plug it in, then you'll be good to go. There's a lot of cameras. Yeah, they're taking them out of cameras, but Canon was always pretty good about having them. Is it firing? Hold on, hold on. See if it fires when this one. Okay. Oh, hold on. It saw that. Put it further away. Well, it saw that. It fired. Yeah, it's firing. All right, put it behind her, maybe, please. What do you want to do? I want to do a white background. Oh, yeah? Okay. Hell, yeah. Hold on. Somebody needs a white background. They're like, you know, I'm a CEO at Apple, and I like to have a white background. And you're like, well, I only have $35 for equipment, so I'm going to... I don't know how I got this job. <laughs> maybe, I should, <laughs> maybe I should take this job that was offered to me even though I have any equipment. Hey, you know what? Sometimes we're in that spot. Don't be in that spot. What do you think? Now, I could meter it like a professional. But honestly, I can't change anything. So why does it matter? We just got to go with it. Is Marissa looking all good as the CEO? Did it fire, you think? Ah, it did. Not enough spread. Let's do a little tippy tip. Oh, forward? Oh, okay, you're gonna move forward? Oh. Okay, okay, that's fine. Then you're gonna raise it up. I'm gonna stretch the lens, as that says. Mm, almost. We get it more. What do you want to do? I want, well, it's, it's, it's bleeding off one side of her head. Do you see it? I do not. I see the umbrella, but it's okay. We don't care about that. Hmm. It's just not, it doesn't have the spread. Do you want to open up the lens? I don't know if that would make a difference. Put, can, can we put it closer to her? Actually, let's move the whole set forward. No, let's move the whole set forward like this. Yep. Yeah. You stay where you are, Marissa. I'm going to back this up. I'm backing this up a tiny bit because I'm going to use the inverse square law. I'm not going to explain it to you, but I'm going to use it. All right, here we go. Well, it didn't fire. Hold on. Uh, maybe I point it out. It's not firing, then. Whew. This is such a reliable piece of equipment, guys. I would definitely recommend this. Uh, this is not happening. I think if I move it just a touch closer. We'll okay. See it. it has to see the reflection off of this. Oh. That's the problem. Is it firing right now? No. Tell me when it's ready. It's not firing. It's not firing. Hmm. Move it, it, move it closer. It's, it's ah. hitting this reflection. Okay, so we're not going to get a white background. And we're fired, and Apple will never hire us again. Wait, wait, try, try again, try again. Oh, oh, oh. There goes. Ah, he's using logic. Seth's like a scientist. A mad scientist. 
I mean, there's, there's, there's aluminum foils in the shot, but, but I was just curious if it had enough spread. It still doesn't have enough it's spread. It doesn't have enough spread. All right. So we're not going to get a white background. This might be the first time I've ever failed to get a white background in my entire life. We're going to do it, though. You know how I'm going to do it? I'm going to use this as the flash. Okay, guys. Sometimes, I know what you're saying. You're like, Daniel, there's like a whole bunch of profile. Oh, those are stuck on. I guess this is permanently attached to my. There we go. This one? Oh, diffuse it? Behind, behind her. Oh, 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 shoot it white. Or hold the white card up. You could do that also. No, let's just let's hold the white card up. You want to do card raw? Yeah, let's do a raw card and see if that works. That's a good idea. Thank you. Stretch your lens out. There we go. All right. <laughs> I only have a 70. They, they, you know, I don't have the long lens like you. Well, I don't have eyes right now because of you, so... <laughs> Okay. Nobody needs eyes. They're overrated. I'm just seeing if it's working because I'm not getting though. Oh yeah, that'll work. We just need to. I need a, I need a longer I can't lens. See. I can't. No, no, you're good. I need a longer lens. <laughs> I'm just gonna get in closer. Uh, slide it a little bit uh, behind her more this way instead. More. Right there. Okay, it's not centered. That's okay. A little bit more. More. Good. Oh, sorry, blank. One more. Here we go. Oh. Oh, unreliable. But it, it's so it's just affordable. Slide this way. <laughs> More stop. Good. Yeah, All right, here we go. Let me move the bulb in. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. Okay, good. All right. There we go. Right? All right, don't worry about the bottom part. Ignore that. <laughs> don't worry about the bottom part. <laughs> good enough. You get the point, right? Uh, actually, it's funny, it, it still feathers off. That thing's got a pretty tight, uh, they do make one that's like a bigger ball, but it wasn't stuck. It gives like a more wide angle. But we're getting the idea here, right? We're just using a secondary flash to hit the background. You can do it, again, we're struggling. It's not gonna be that easy. This is why this stuff's 20 bucks. What I was actually thinking to do is, this is tricky, but put this in optical, put it there, Hold this in my hand and just fire it when I take the picture and do a long exposure. I don't think it'll. Uh, you don't think I can sync it? I don't know if it's gonna be a sync, but I think it's gonna not. Because this is so much brighter. Yeah, no, but that one's being. It needs like dead on light, so. Well, I'm gonna use that one as the thingy. So, what I'm gonna do, guys, all right, so I have a plan. Because here I am at Apple, right? And the CEO here, Marissa, is like, hurry up, young man. And I'm like, young oh, man, what? You know, so I'm like, oh, I gotta make this work. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna hold this in my hand like an idiot. So I'm gonna hold this in my hand and I'm gonna actually use this one to trigger everything. Because I am fast. I know what you're saying, you're not that fast, Daniel. Well, we'll see, won't we? We will see. I have no idea how to do it either. I've never touched that flash before in my life because that's how I go into demos, never having used the stuff. I am gonna give myself a tremendously slow shutter speed. I'm gonna to go to a quarter of a second. I know, quarter of a second. Because I need enough time to fire the shutter and pop this, right? I'm gonna kill the lights in the room. Well, oh, that's not firing either? Well, I don't know how to put it to slave mode. Ah, okay. I never used this thing. Yeah, me either, all right. I was told that it had slave mode, maybe it doesn't. It does. Okay. I'm looking at it. Aha. Okay, give us a cliff. How do you? Uh... Actually, Bridget. Bridget. <laughs> we can't. Could somebody get Bridget in the lighting department? Moses, please. Could you grab Bridget for me? Bridget. Please, yeah. She's in the lighting department. Be like, yo, Bridget. All right, so while we're doing that, was there something else? Oh, I haven't used this thing yet. Oh, I guess I'll use it at the end. Any questions while we're uh, making this work? I've never seen this light. Is there a way you could use the um, Is there? Could I use a silver umbrella instead? Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do it. I'll switch to silver. Silver and gold. So the silver, the silver umbrella is going to be uh, more specular, right? Because it's silver. We're going to get punchier highlights. It's also going to be a little bit harder. Why? Don't wreck this. It's going to be smaller, too. That's right, because it's smaller. Well, it is smaller anyway. 
I like that you, that you gave the answer for the audience when they were going to get a free prize if they'd answered it correctly. But it actually is a smaller umbrella. Right. This is a smaller umbrella. But not only is it a smaller umbrella, it's also going to be further away because when we're shooting on the shoot-through umbrella, it's like this. When I shoot, bounce it, it's going to be like this, right? Further away makes it smaller. Smaller means harder, right? So it's going to be harder and it's going to be specular. So it's going to be a totally different look. It's going to be more jazzy. Oh. How could I get to do that, but I can't find <laughs> Did you just do multipop? That's a different demo. All right. Oh, wait. That's S, so. Yes. Why is this going channels, though? I don't know. No, I don't know. It has 31 channels. 31 channels and nothing on. So I got the Disney uh, channel now. It's very good. I finally saw Frozen. What do you think? Two, I haven't seen Frozen 2. It's not on there. I think that's in the theaters, isn't it? Where's the flashpoint? Will you see Frozen 2 with me? Uh, well, I promised my seven-year-old. Oh. She promised a seven-year-old, so she won't see it with me. Great. I'll see it with you also. I'll oh. see it twice. <laughs> Frozen 2, round two. All right, so after. After the holidays, because I'm sure you're going to see. <laughs> Since you, you know, give priority to seven-year-olds. I mean, come on. I mean, for Frozen 2. All right. Yeah. We'll test this first. Oh, wait, try it. Just flash this really quick. Nope. Did that flash? Uh, I don't think so. Nope. Uh, can we kill the overheads? All right, I'm killing the overheads because it's cooler that way. I'm at one quarter of a second at F10. I'm just going to do a quick shot to see how much ambient light I'm getting. Hopefully none. This camera does not want to focus. There's no light? Yep, because there's no light in here. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're not really getting any ambient light. I feel like, uh, oh, I got to do this. All right, here we go. I'm focusing on Marissa, and then I'm going to go, boom, oh. I'm going to screw it up the first time, because it's always important to screw it up the first time. I see you're good. Here we go. What, nothing? Nothing for that? What did you do? I triggered it with this with the thing. You did what? I opened the shutter and fired this to fire that flash. So what? Like a baller. So like a baller. You have to trump the lights, though. Well, because a quarter of a second, it would have yeah, picked I know. up the. That's what you, I mean, so what you can't do that? Oh, I can do it. Oh, so, anyways, that's a silver umbrella. It's actually kind of nice. But I would like to have a white background. We still get nothing, huh? Yeah. Hmm. All right, we got nothing. We're going to move well, now on. Now it's in high speed sync. We're in high speed <laughs> sync. That's always useful. Okay. I mean, all these people that buy Flashpoint, none of you guys know how to do this. Okay, uh, can we get the overheads? I'm sorry, so I have to keep asking you to do that. Yeah. Turn the overheads back on. I will do something else while we're doing that. All right, then we won't do it. We're not going to get a white background oh, this year for Christmas. Wow, Grinch. <laughs> Can anything work? No, what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what I just did there, right? Except with the background. So crank that up full speed. Who's got fast fingers? Oh, you want to do it? Oh, we're going to manually shoot it. We're doing it. <sighs> we're doing it manual. It's all manual with Daniel. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. <laughs> this... <laughs> who, who, who just said that? <laughs> Moses, what do you want from up here? Yeah, you, got every... you can have it. How'd that giant softbox work out? <laughs> I don't know what I want to ask. All right, here we go. Wow, this is crazy. Full power. Can you, what, we can't do it's it? It's on full power, but it's just like, it can't decide. It can't decide. Do we like the silver, or do you guys like the white better? I like the silver better than she You like the silver better? Yeah. You would. Wow, hardcore. You would. You would. All right. You would. No, I don't care. I like Which one do you look, like? Look, do you like look. silver? I like Nothing's changing. Oh, well, I think you got to turn it, no? <laughs> I'm going to pull the battery for a second. OK. This is a fine piece of electronic equipment. It's just as good, Daniel. I guess feeling. Feeling all right? Are we going to make this happen? Have you ever seen anything like this before in your life? Probably not. What do you want to do? Are you going to get like over here ish and yeah. you're going to blast the background? I mean, at full power, that thing should toast the background. Yeah. That's like a million trillion watt seconds or 75. Oh, all right. You're, you're on full. All right, full power. Hold on, let me get you. Uh, hold on, calm down. This has never been done before. Calm down. Look, I'm, I'm pulling out the card for you. I'm pulling out the white angle. Oh, man. Look at that. Wow. You're going to get all sport. All right, here we go. 
Okay, here we go. <laughs> this from a guy who only wears. Oh, hold on, where's the button? There we go. All right, here we go. Who's firing you and me? Well, uh, together. I think I blink. All right, well, neither one of us actually did it. Well, one of us can trigger the light. That's what I was doing. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, actually, will yours trigger this light is yeah, the question. Yeah, saying. blast it and see if it does. Oh, it does. That's what I'm saying, so let me do it. Yes, I'm letting you do it. You've overcomplicate everything. You know I right? know, I know. I didn't realize we didn't need the extra. Oh. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to count, I guess. One, two, three. I think you did it. That felt good. It felt good. Something's. I lost a tether? No, that's the shot. Oh. Beautiful. So, so this didn't <laughs> fire then? <laughs> no. All right. One, two, three. I didn't know you were going. Go. <laughs> One, two, three. No, I don't think we're in sync. You're... Oh, hi, hi, hi. Well, that's terrible, but good. I mean, so good together. it proves we're the point. So it proves the point that this is not working. Actually, uh, I just need someone from Flashpoint to make this into an optical trigger. <laughs> can we wide angle that bad boy? Or is that as wide as it gets? That's as wide as it gets. Yeah, but we could do it. We could do this. We okay, yeah, and I'll get right behind. I'll get close. All right. You ready? There we go. We got this. Right. Tight shot. There we go. And go. Oh, nope, too slow. And go. Exactly. And wait, wait, stop. Oh. Your light's not recycled. Relax. Okay. Breathe. And go. It's, would you stop? It's still not recycled. Do you want to tell me when then? Ready? Go. Ready? Wait, wait. And go. That felt good. Nope. What? How slow are you? Quarter. Should we go half? Go to a half. Go to a half. Oh, you know what? We're, okay. Just go to a half. Well, we're also picking up the ambient light, too. Yeah, let's the kill overhead. the ambient. Kill her overhead. Yeah, let's kill that. You know what's fun about this? Everything. We get to enjoy working together as a team, creating some images. If we had good lights that just worked all the time, we'd be done already. I mean, it'd be boring. We'd be, we'd be home. Uh, these aren't, well, they're kind of cheap. All right. All right, I'm just going to do a quick ambient test to make sure. Hold on, I'm going to focus on your other eye that's in the light. Here we go. All right, that's the ambient test. Mm, that's fine. It's not bad. And go. That felt right. I think I saw it. Oh. oh Seth. Ooh, Seth. Oh. All right. Oh. What? Colors off. Mm -hmm. You should have come to one of your other nights we did these. I'm sorry, what was the question? The question was just um, if you can manipulate the lighting so much, like, does wattage really matter? Okay, so if I can manipulate the light so much, does wattage really matter? Yes, yes a lot, okay. right? Because what's going to happen is if you start, if you're using lights, let's say we, well, first of all, there's watt seconds, which is how you measure flash, and then there's watts, which is typical light. But either way, I'll just use the word power. Does power matter, right? It does because having more power gives you more options, right? We're backing ourselves into a corner using the cheapest stuff ever. Mm -hmm. um, with the normal stuff that I'd be using, we, this is not even an issue. Like we'd be able to dial it in perfectly, exactly where we want it. And that's really what you get with better stuff. But from your point of view, the reason why you'd want more power is it will, for instance, allow you to shoot faster, right? You see how we're like, he's like, wait, wait, it's not ready. With good professional lights, you're gonna, Model can move, you can get a rhythm, boom. It's not like, all right, hold on. Right. All right, hold on, and you're missing shots. So that's one reason why you'd want more power, right? Also, inexpensive stuff is gonna be less consistent color-wise, which means that it's more work in the end for the photographer, or if they don't do it, you're gonna be like slightly different shades in every shot, you know? Oh. Which you probably don't want. Oh. oh, we figured it out. That's something. That's us, that's it. Is it counting down? Why is there 50 to five numbers on there? Oh, because it's on S1, so it should be a, a slave now. Don't look at it. You're looking right into it. That would be terrible. Look, S1. Okay, let's try it. Hey! Now that we already did the shot. We already got it. That we don't need to do it. I mean, the fact that we pulled it off without that is just, you know, pretty epic. But anyway, you know. That's so, the stupidest interface I've ever seen. That is, uh, you know, it's... Uh, all right, so. So, yeah, that's why. So, that is one of the things. We'll talk quickly about that before we do something else, right? Why don't we just buy this stuff, right? Then we're like, hey, man, why should I spend money on lights? You know, I can do 20 bucks, I can do this. You can, but, right? That's a lot of work. And if you're 
a model or you're a subject who's not a model, let's say, and you're sitting for somebody who's the photographer, I mean, is that something you want to go through? Isn't that going to make you feel a little awkward? Like, oh, this is not really working out, right? You also want your light to be predictable and not yeah. have a variation of what this feels like you're right. going to do that day. Okay. Yeah, so that's really what, what you're getting. So power is important because it gives you speed. Power is important because it gives you more options, right? We don't have to turn off all the lights in the space if we have more power, stuff like that. So that's why you want power. What, the other thing you get with kind of better lights is consistency. That's really what you're paying for. There's a lot of features and this and that, and people will compare that, but really that's what you're paying for. Consistency, consistency in power, consistency in color, reliability, like that's what you're getting with better, better gear, more expensive gear as it would be. That doesn't mean you shouldn't shoot if you can't afford it. That's, that's kind of what this demo is about. Like if you're just starting and you're like, you know what, this is really just a hobby for me and I wanna see how much I like it and I can't spend $300 on a light, you can make it work with, with inexpensive stuff. It can be done. Uh, yep. Let's start a fire. Oh, right, okay. So I built a light because it's always fun to build something. This is also available online. It's being recorded, so you can like, yeah. yeah, you can watch back. Okay. What? That poor reflector. That's awesome. This is double barreled, guys. Is that a shield? It's a shield, like Captain America might use. <laughs> okay, so the difference between these sockets here and the one that I was using there is that that clearly says on the cord, don't use more than 150 watts. These are watt rated out for 500 watts. And you're like, 500 watts? Yeah, 500 watts, right? Where can I get a bulb that's so bright? Adorama, right? So for, you know, it's still being inexpensive, but for like the professional photographer or the professional person, you can get what are called photo floods. Photo floods are color correct incandescent or tungsten lamps, right? So, they look like this. Versa has an idea. Oh, well, we should do that shot. Awesome. We could do that, actually. That would be awesome. All right. <laughs> I have two here because they only had 250 watt bulbs in stock. So, I wanted 500 watts, so I got two sockets. This gives me kind of a bit of a dimmer right, because I can turn one on or I can turn two on. I'm gonna bounce it off this board to start with and then we're gonna play around with the diffusion and stuff. We're gonna make this into, oh, by the way, I put a baby plate on the back. That's not inexpensive, that's like 15 bucks. Baby plates are the best thing in the world. If you don't have one, you should get one. First of all, it's fun to say. You know, you're gonna be like, you know what I need? Baby plate. No, it's not fun to say. So the reason why it's a baby plate is because baby in the, in, in the, in the industry uh, is 5 eighths. 5 eighths is the standard size of a light stand. The plate has a 5 eighths stud on it. Thus it is a baby plate. That's gonna fall on my head. Oh, you wanna fly this? No, no don't, don't, don't give me that, give me that. Okay. That's actually mine. That's the rain umbrella. I know what you're thinking. You're like, are you gonna give me back my thing? Yes, I am. Do you, want, you wanna fly that over? Yep. I know, you're like, can I have both? Yes, you can, because one of them is pretty unreliable. So I'm gonna give you both. Do you know which one was the good one? You don't know, but you're gonna figure it out. <laughs> Thank you. You are more than welcome. All right, here, I have the sockets too. Excuse me, I have to start a fire. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Let me tell you something, and I'm telling you now, because if I watch the news and I see your house burned down, this is plastic. Don't put a very hot light in this. It, it'll fit. It will fit. Don't do it. It'll melt. My sister did it. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. There's another one somewhere. I don't know where it is. We'll find it eventually. All right. We're going to use the Daniel light. It's been used in many, uh, well, it's never been used. I just made it. But the, the concept is. What do you think, Marissa? Are we going to use this to, make, to shoot a scene? I think this is awesome. You should print it like a poster of your face on the back, and then like... That way no one will buy it. That would, what do you mean? <laughs> then People buy posters of my face all the time. My mom bought like three of them. Yeah, there you go. Good luck with that. I mean, enjoy. All right, good. Did you buy these pre-knotted up? 
No, these these were sitting in my basement for a while. Look at this. Yeah. All right. They're from the last time I did this demo. Oh, I should put the other bulb in. They definitely smell like 80s electronics. I did have two bulbs. Oh, there it is. So what's great about these is that we know that they're color correct, right? This is also very fragile, so I shouldn't do that. Um, they're 3200 Kelvin, so I can set my camera on tungsten and incandescent, 3200 Kelvin, whatever you want to do. Hey, and we, the, we, we, I may have the switches turned off. The switch is on the top of these. Each one has its own switch. Okay. It's the latest in desktop technology. <laughs> this is what? Bright, right? <laughs> this is what? Shady as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Bright light. All right. If Gizmo was around, he would not be happy. All right. That's actually not terrible right off the bat. Now, we can manipulate this light by using other cards like this one to block Marissa so you can't see it. We could bring it over here to fill in. Actually, step slightly this way. They usually don't explode. Actually. What, what about that? That's not terrible. You can actually build a little white, a little box here. You know what we should do? All right, I got a plan. Build a box. We're building something. We're going to build the perfect headshot studio, and I'm going to sell it online for $57. Actually, yep. I want to play We're going to do it right now. We're going to take this, oh. and we're, and we're going to... That, put it here, right? What do you think? That's why I was like... Oh, that? But that'll yeah. light on fire. Step. Yeah, step up for a second. So the, I can also just stare at this and be blinded if I want. It's not touching it, is it? We want to put it close, but not touching. Do you want to gaff it or what? Then we'll gaff it up into a thing. I know what you're saying. You're like, Daniel, why don't you do this before the thing starts? That doesn't mean. That's not fun. Did you see our last demo and how disastrous that was? There you go. All right. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, let me just That'll stay for at least a minute. Huh? All right. Well, that's why we're going to do it this way. Man, and we can do that. We should probably either turn it off or dim it. So I have dimmers. <laughs> so instead of us melting to death, I have dimmers. I can't even look what I'm doing. I'm going to, uh, I'll dim it. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Daniel, do you have dimmers? Yes, I do. Actually, you know what? This is fun. Well, I'm not going to need to. No, that's fine. No, but do the back part because I think it's too. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, well, hold on. Stand right here, Marissa. You want to be Is that beautiful? Well, not with you. Anymore. We won't be able to put this here. Though, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's beautiful. Oh, that's actually good. Yeah, step, 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 step this way. Go real close to it. A little more. Right there. Good. What are you drinking? What is that? A matcha. Mr. Pib. What is it? Matcha. It's matcha. Okay, that's good. Okay, guys, if you're going to build one of these at home, Put the lights closer to this end. Because now, you know, that we need two stands. We're gonna need a second second stand here. Oh, you wanna do uh... Holy crap, this, this is, is good. This is freaking awesome. This is actually might be too good. You guys really didn't pay enough to come to this course. There's gonna be a, uh, a PDF online that you can download. Yeah. Like print out a headshot box. Yeah, the print, it's, it's gonna be a 3D printed headshot box that you can buy for $47. What is this, a lav? Oh, oh, I need that. Yeah. Yes. Is that Dave Bruska? Dave Bruska! Do I have a substitute for the C-stand? I do not. You good for the 18th? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Is there a substitute for the C-stand? I mean, a C-stand is a C-stand. Did I need to use a C-stand for 90% of this? No, definitely not. You know, this is just the stands I have. There, you know, you can get a... This is the, the blah. Adorama makes one that's like a hundred bucks. Matthews or one of the professional brands, they're like 200. Um, a C stand is something you buy once. So if you're gonna light a lot, they're worth having. But you could use a regular standard for almost all of this. Maybe not this exact thing. You want it tall or horizontal? I think tall. I think this is gonna work. Yeah, this is right next to it, just for the flattest light ever. Because people love flat light. Why not overbuild something to make a really flat light that you could have made? And also, I love how we're blinding the audience. It's my oh, favorite well, part of this one. I like how you could block that for the audience filming on this side. That's what we're going to do. Instead, like this. Attaboy. Look at you. You know what? I'm just going to clamp it. Yeah, let's clamp. Oh, this is good. So again, if you're going to build this at home, I'd move this light this way. Well, I'm sorry. I have to explain to the audience because they're all looking at me like, what the hell's going on? 
You drive me crazy. You drive me crazy. No one else. See? Right, man. Take a step back. Do you want to, like, do you want to bounce back light in? Like, yeah, bounce back light in. Oh, jeez, If you can, it's I mean, close. it'd be nice if it was silver. I'm not so giving you one of my silvers to give away. Right? I just, I'm not going to give it away. Actually, you know what you can't do? have a silver for free because Seth has to make them. Yeah, ha you have only shrink the arm. Okay. Yeah. Just be careful with those bulbs because they are fragile. Uh, step out for me, kiddo. No. Okay, we're gonna shrink the arm. Oh. Oh yeah, now you know how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's happening here I'm besides my, chaos? I'm burning my knuckle hair off. That's what's happening. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people out there that might buy like an HMI or something, but. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna say, buy all the cheap lights that you want and do all this fun stuff, but if I ever show up at your house and you're using spiral fluorescence, I will kill you. That's it. They're the devil. There was this craze like, I don't know, five years ago maybe, six, where like everybody had these like lights that had like 87 spiral fluorescence in there. Let me tell you something. Terrible. The, color was just the Kino Flow ones are okay, but they aren't, they're not bright. So you need like 175 of them. So I'm going to walk this in. Okay. To, uh... So $5 worth of lights, $600 worth of C-stands. <laughs> this is how we do it. Oh, 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 I like this. I like what we're getting here. Oh, 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 oh wow. That is specular tacular. Yeah, that spe spe spectacular. Yeah, that we gotta figure that out. Okay, we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna make up our own word, just like emerald. Spectacular. That's quackacular. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna meet her towards the light source because that's what Gavin Howie does. They're asking where do you, are. You sure you have a fire extinguisher? <laughs> uh, no. Over there, right? There is one. Over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just the first three rows will die. That's all. <laughs> It'll be like a great white concert. Okay. Uh, 125th of a second. F4. 100 ISO. Just like a pro photo. I'm going to come over here. Oh, actually, I guess I hit it on the camera. I'm going to set my camera to the proper white balance so that one time I'll actually have a shot that looks decent coming out of the camera. I just want to show Fernando how you're going to burn down the events page. Show Fernando. All right. <laughs> All right, tungsten, or in, they call it incandescent and Nikon because they're fancy. Set. All right. Whew. All right, guys. It's a make or break time right now. Okay. Good. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't the color change? Oh, because it's set to flash. last image. Damn it. It's set to flash. Well, no, it's set to copy from last image. Oh, your big moment, bud. Oh. Guys, forget that, that happened. Oh, man. Let's oh. break it down and build it again. Oh, that, that looks like is a beautiful. professional headshot. You're hired. <laughs> How's my exposure? I think it's good, right? That's not terrible, right? It's a little hot on the top left. You know what I want to do? Actually, you want to step out of it a little bit? Yeah, I was going to say, right, have it be more in front of her. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Let it feather across. That's better. Now I'm melting. I'm melting. Yeah, that's yeah, better. That's, better. that's flatter. Yeah. All right. Whew. This is the Daniel kit. All right. <laughs> you, some assembly required. Yeah. <laughs> We're using three pieces of board that cost about three bucks each, so ten bucks. Wait. We're using a couple of uh, like $10. Uh, You're at a 25th of a second, huh? 125. So shaky? A little bit, but I. I am, I am a shaky. Is your eye brush on? <laughs> I don't know how to I turn that on. All right, let me try it again. It's not sharp enough for Seth. Nikon won't like us if the picture's not sharp enough. Oh, shake your hands more. You know what I'm thinking? I think we could use one more reflector. Under. There, you see the difference? I do see the difference. See? Sharp pictures are good. Maybe you should take a second to, like, I don't know, use it correctly. Okay. What do you want to do? Under? Yeah. Oh, sorry. 
No, you're good. There's not enough. Do you want to show No, 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 there, no, no, it's fine. It's perfect. Sorry, I'm over. <laughs> Let's jam it right I'm into in it. Somebody's dream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's actually take a picture there. For shame! <laughs> is that the heat from the light? Or is that your armpit? That's your armpit, huh? The flame. <laughs> what? <laughs> <The burn. laughs> Me? Yeah. I am boiling. It's a furnace. That's your armpit. It's like, jeez. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> well, I'm hot. What can I say? Could I actually take a picture or are you going to stand there and be a goof? No, oh, I'm standing here, man. Mm -hmm. I'm just standing here. Right, that's good. That's good. good. <laughs> All right. All right. So, extra reflector. All right. So, we've got a bunch of bounce boards going on, right? We've got basically two photo floods. It's nice and simple, right? All that's happening here is we're controlling our light, right? We're creating this, this kind of bounced, diffused, softened light really with just two bulbs hanging here. This could be anything. Clearly, if you're not using these, if you're using some non-photo flood bulbs, you're gonna have to do some kind of a white balance adjustment, and you're going to probably have to use either a, a higher ISO, would probably be what you do, to get, um, you know, to get as much light, because these are 500 watts total here, so we had a lot of light coming out of this thing. Okay. We need to have some matcha. That was beautiful. Beautiful, what do you think? Decent? Uh, this will be right. trademarked by Pro Photo. Yeah, this is actually a special Profoto light. Uh, if you put uh, 87 C1 pluses in here, it'll put almost as much light. It works better because they <laughs> shabizzle after it. Shabooze. 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 I like this. And there's lots of different ways to modify it. But all we're doing is using basic, let's actually kill the bulbs so we can actually see in here. I'm going to use the very professional way to turn it off. OK, so what the heck, did, do you have a camera on you to see this? So what the heck are we doing? Or I can just take a wide shot with my camera. Yeah, I got you. Hold on. Watch, watch. See? You can see it. Okay. Am I blocking it? Okay. So the light's in here, right? It's bouncing around, creating a really bright source. We're diffusing it, right? Not only are we diffusing it, we're making it bigger, which is making it softer, right? We were wasting a lot of light, though, because we're open-ended. So we're bringing back a reflector. And then by using silver, we're kind of changing the quality and making it a little bit more organic. And then on this side, we have just a white card filling in. Now, if I was actually going to build this to use, which is like pretty, kind of cool, I would actually put the light bulbs further back so you could actually build it all into one frame. And then you'd have this little thing just hanging there that's like the perfect place to take selfies. Right? <laughs> Go ahead and make a selfie so we can see what it looks like. All right, so questions, thoughts, concerns? No, right? People are like, what the hell did you just do? No questions? <laughs> Nothing. You guys are like, oh, yeah, well, it's fine. I, I wish we could talk a little slower sometimes because it's the, all the information. Why That's a criticism. It's not a question, a thought, or I guess it's well, a concern. It's a concern. This is available <laughs> online. You, you can go to YouTube and re play it back at a slower speed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's up okay. right now. You can watch it as many times as you want. Yeah, yeah. I, I apologize if I talk fast, but uh, I'm a fast talker. No, you don't want to come to my demo if that's fast for you. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, but it, yeah. Okay. Other questions though, specifically about this, but yes, I, I, I will take that into account. I do have a question. Less coffee. That's not going to happen. Yes. So I'm new to all this. How uh -oh. do you decide when you want to diffuse the light or go for a more direct one? Okay, so how do you decide when you want to diffuse the light? Mm -hmm. So diffusion, the, so when you're talking about lighting, you've got basically accesses. You have hard and soft opposite each other. Mm -hmm. That controls your shadow, right? And then you've got diffuse or specular. That controls your highlight. So if you, if you want highlights that are bright and contrasty, in other words, your highlights are bright and your neutrals go down to your neutrals, versus something that's flatter where you don't have like the bright highlights, then you want to diffuse. Diffusing gets rid of the highlights, okay. right? It makes it flatter. It's all about, so a soft light that is diffused is flat as hell, which is basically what this is. This is what we call flat uh, because, and this, although he may have left, is exactly how you get rid of wrinkles or whatever. Like a flat light that's diffused, you're not going to see any texture in the face. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the difference? Is it just 
the fact that it's a larger light source. Right, so if you, if you increase the size of the light source, that will change your shadows. Yeah. So basically, it'll make your shadow line go from a hard edge to a soft edge. If you add diffusion, it will make your highlight go more neutral. So you could have a large light that's not, that's specular. You could have like a big silver umbrella, like a parabolic, like a, like a para, not like a parabolic umbrella, but a para umbrella that's punchy, right? Um, because that will give you this like kind of light that'll make the, the skin shine, right? But still be soft. Or you could have a light that's small but diffuse. So you could have direct shadows, but the light itself is, is very diffuse and you don't have, I mean, in fact, that little cheap uh, hardware store Thing we did at the very beginning is actually pretty darn diffused considering that it's, uh, you know, it's like a little, uh, I don't know which one was, it, somewhere around there. Like, that's actually pretty diffused. Like, you don't see too much highlight popping up. I guess that's part of the buffer. What was the buffer? Right? You don't see a lot of highlights flying, right? And that's because that bulb, if you, if you show it, you have it, right? That bulb has a little diffusion on top. You know, and that's it, right? You can see the bulb has like a little diffuser on top. That's making it so it's not so specular, right? Sometimes you want specular, sometimes you don't, right? It's like the difference between a Mounds and an Almond Joy. <laughs> and your style. All right, other questions? I didn't use the most expensive thing. What? This thing, this, this Flashpoint thing. All right, let me use this just because I paid for it. Oh, and somebody's going to get this as a, a trivia question. <gasps> Whoa! I know. That's it could insane. be, I don't know what the trivia question is going to be yet, though. So this is a... I am not. We're going to trigger it using the remote thing the same way we did it before. Okay. He's like, you're chilling. Every day. Every day of my life. This. Listen. This. This is an actual piece of photo equipment. I know. It's crazy. This, by the way, is, is the weirdest but most interesting speed ring ever because it just smushes your light. It's the smusher speed ring. It's a little, yeah. Whoever invented that was a genius. Sure. A mad genius. Oh my God, I don't even know how to take this apart. What? We gotta spin this around to get the, uh, you're doing it by optical, right? No, I'm doing it by optical. Yeah, so we have to spin it around. Optical. That's the optical right there. Cool. I don't even know what to do with this. I built, I built something that I can't control, like Dr. Frankenstein. Come this way. <laughs> nope. See, I told you. What have I done? What? What have I done? It's alive. All right. Who wants this thing? Oh, you can't have two things, greedy. <laughs> Whoever right. takes this is like their life is in their own hands. Like it's over. Yeah. In, in all Dude, in all seriousness, though, be careful you, with this. You make something like this. Duvetine over it is a heat resistant uh, oh, light yeah. dampening material. That yeah, that's true. You. This is probably unsafe. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, do this. I don't I'm think sorry. you should really. Yeah, I'll give you something else. No, but look for yeah, that's resistant true. materials. That's why things you yeah. buy here are like more expensive versions of hardware stuff because it's heat resistant. And that's true. Burn that is true. Here, have an umbrella instead. There you go. All right. That's true. This is probably dangerous. Seth yeah. is, is, is my like. Uh... Well, we don't want that same incident from Cincinnati. Remember yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, you'll get happened? suits. What happened in Cincinnati? Well, we WKRP. <laughs> that poor llama. <laughs> Uh, I mean, my hands are burning a little bit. Okay. It was pretty cool. What? You can build your own. I guess you know. I mean, honestly, if you didn't use 500 watt, you should put air holes in it. Maybe. Like, this definitely. We'll modify this. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make this and then sell it to you. All right. Good. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna make my fortune. Westcott will come out with a version that's $400. <laughs> you should actually, don't they, they can name it after you. Yeah, right, they'll name it after That'll me. That'll be his legacy, a piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and then Seth will constantly be like, I created that. I'm the one that's from Brooklyn. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> I don't say a boot like you do. <laughs> a boot. A boot. A boot. All right. All right, I need the you baby pin. Yeah. All right. After all the spectacular stuff we've been doing, yeah. we'll do a nice, boring, regular shot. Okay. 
216. You want to just do a There you go, 216. You want to just do an overhead? Own it. Overhead? Yeah, let's do this like a regular shot. We got we to gotta end on a normal, although I kind of like the, I kind of like the Daniel Light. If you, if Marissa wasn't laughing because Seth was causing trouble. Well, if you could do a demo on your own, you know. Well, I can't. All right. All right. We'll rebuild that. Just like the six million dollar man. Oh, hold on. I need the thing again to set off the, the flash. Sir. I need the bulb. You're my trigger. Why am I doing it this way? Because I'm crazy. Give it up. <laughs> not both of my no, I need the thingy to screw it in. Oh. Were you not paying attention? You took the free stuff and you don't even take it. Oh, I think that's why he's here. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> you're just here for this for the free stuff. <laughs> By the way, you don't usually get free stuff. I just don't want to take this one home. Oh. Of course I have pro photo lights. Really? Would you sell it already? Yes. I hear some banging. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happens sometimes. You gotta well, smash it on the ground. So you want your light exactly like this? I yeah, it's perfect. Perfect, great. Done. You just gotta smash it on the ground. Oh, that would totally work. I'm not even gonna start with you. <laughs> you don't moisturize the C stands. <laughs> The metal gets a little funky. Um, All right. So oh, yeah. You're at full power? Full power. Uh, no, no, I want to be low power. You want to do like a uh, 16th? Let's do a 16th power, I think, Seth. That sounds like a good place to be. Is it an optical mode? Yeah. Did it fire? Yeah. Hey, hey. Who loves you? Why are we doing it like this? <laughs> Am I crazy? All right. No, you just. Uh, you ready? I'm ready. Hey, uh, who's going to fire this? I'll do it. All right, let's meter it. All right, we're using actual equipment. Sort of. Kind of. Well, it's equipment is just less expensive. So this flash is like 50-ish dollars. This box is like 50-ish dollars. So now you're in like the $100 price range-ish. Ooh, $50. Let me set this to the proper mode. <laughs> Good thing the people from Sakonic aren't here. <laughs> is Ab still here? I don't know. He bailed. He was like, what the hell's going on here? Uh, 286, all right, give me a... What do, you do? what do you want? Give me four tenths. Oh, yeah, okay. Give me a third. You want it? I'll give you an eighth. Give me an eighth. Four, four, that's good. All right, four, four. 125. 100 ISO. 125th now. Yeah, why not? Because I have to fire this. Oh, at the yes. Same time you shoot. Four, four. Oh, should I go? Should I go more power then so we can have time? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's just go full power. We forgot that we're doing this in a weird, bizarre way. I'm going to go half power. Half power. We want to get up to like F11-ish because we want to be able to... Uh... You don't think F8 will cancel that out? Well, I'm going to go to like quarter of a second. Oh, okay. All right, so then you should have F11. All right, F11-ish. Right? Good. No? Eight, nine, that's good enough. That's not... That's what you're getting out of Is that full power? Yeah. All right, eight, nine. So we'll call that 11. Sure. We're going to go down to a... Quarter. We're going to F10 at a quarter of a second, because that's what I always shoot at. ISO 100. First, I'm going to take a picture with no flash to see how much ambient light we're getting in here. Well, that looks good. Well, it's blue as hell. Yeah, so let's change that to uh, flash. I thought you wouldn't be able to see my face. Well, I thought so too. No, yeah. Fast. And I'm going to bring that up and post it. No. On, on, uh, <laughs> you can do another Photoshop challenge. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, go. That was a terrible composition on my part. Yeah. And go. Oh! Ooh. Yay, Seth. Okay. We're still in this, tandem after all these years. Even this relatively inexpensive, but at least proper equipment, right? Is giving us kind of a shot that really it might have a little shake going on because well, I. Well, it's a long. It's a, it's a long, long exposure because the way we're doing it, pay another thirty bucks, get yourself the remote if you're going to do this. But uh, basically, this is a nice studio quality shot, right? It's good, right? So why not just always do this? Well, again, just like anything, we didn't have as much room to move. We had to kind of play around, right? We don't have as much uh, functionality here. It's not super fast. It's not going to be as consistent as like a better piece of equipment. But you know what? If you have a hundred bucks. 
you can get this set up and basically create a nice clean portrait very easily. And that's actually kind of pretty. All right, let's do it one more time. This time I'll try not to screw it up. Well, the duration's super long. I'm yeah. Just... Yeah, I, I definitely wiggled. All right, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna ba base myself here, to get myself more steady, and go. There we go, that should be better. Maybe chin down a smidge. Yeah. Should we do a reflector? Good. And go. Ooh, that felt early. Oh, there's, there's a grid. This comes with a grid. Now guys, let's say you were like, Daniel, that's fine, but for a hundred bucks, I want to be able to do way more than that. Then I'll be like, you know what? I don't know where it is. It's not bad, right? And you get the grid, because grids are often expensive, because they are. Basically, if you use a grid on your light, you're gonna be able to charge more. This is really what it comes down to. We all know it. This whole thing's $50. Something like that. That's actually Not too bad, right? Would you like one? I might have to get one. We might get you one for Christmas. Oh. All right. All right, now we have the grid on there, right? It's not on very good because I'm not very good at putting grids on. Seth will criticize me later. The grid's gonna eat at least to stop a light. Should we re-meter it? Yes. Here we go, light meter. Boom. Eight, it ate a stop of light, just like I said. That's fine. I'm gonna go to F8. Oh, Should we go to, can we kill that? Can we at least kill this one? All right, here we go. This is the finale shot. This is the one. This is the one that's gonna make Marissa the star of Adorama. The unknown actress that we took off the street two days ago. <laughs> All right, here we go, and go. Oops, sorry. You just said go. I know, and hold on, focusing. No, no, hold on, it's not focusing, and go. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Just say go. All right, I'm gonna do it. I won't say and is what you say. Uh, bring it to your nose, Mitch. Go. Oh, I think you blinked. Nope. Good. So, apparently, inexpensive grids do nothing. <laughs> and there you go. Actually, what's <laughs> happening is this yeah. is bouncing off of everything else. You think? Yeah. Let's kill that light. I want to see what this is doing. Because that's epic. I got to say, this thing is the star. Maybe you can't have it. Could I put the grid inside the octobox instead of the diffuser? You could do that, sure, yeah. but you might throw lines from the, the, the light. But that's not what's doing it. I Seth is suspecting that it's that, which I agree with. Go. Uh, I, oh, I sorry. Nice way, right. cycle. Okay, focusing. Go. I don't think no. No. no, no, I missed it. Mm -hmm. Go. There we go, that was better. Yeah, see, no. it's, pulling, yeah. it's filling up the It's background. bringing in the background a little bit. All right, so. Well, this didn't go off. Yeah, we know. We didn't do it. We didn't make that one go off. Okay, so if we didn't have that, then maybe we would have been better. That's not bad, That's though. That's not bad, though. You have I, to, uh, you know. If she, she's also looking right into I'm it, so it's going right to not look. Yeah, okay, so look down so we get. All right, let's do this for one more time. Yeah. Last one, and then I'm kicking you out. <laughs> okay. So we turned it back on, right? All right, look at me all gritty. Wait, 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 wait. When you're shooting with a grid, you can get shots that are more gritty. Huh? That's a new one. See? I made up a new one every once in a while. I just dropped two IQ points. Nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, now you're at 47. And go. Up oh, too slow. Okay. And go. That felt good. Nope. Wait, is this not firing? I don't know. Is this firing? Just, Do you see this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, we're out of sync. Go. Oops, sorry. And go. Hmm. No, we're out of sync. What happened? To I don't know. The relationship is over. All right, here we go. The grid, go between us. And go. Nope, too slow. And go. That was good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, with the grid. So, you know, if you're okay with getting one shot every four or five times and... Uh, <laughs> but you can see it. Yeah, there you go. You see the difference. 
So with the grid, she's more intense, and she's like, I'm Marissa. And without the grid, she's like, I'm Marissa. Right? Oh. Smell it. I don't want to smell, smell it. I don't want to smell, smell the light. Smell that. Mm -hmm. I don't trust you because you're going to fire like it. It's like those old G.I. Joe toys from the 80s. <laughs> it's like those... <laughs> After you melt them. <laughs> okay. Is that not what you're supposed to do? Uh, no. Uh, lights. Please, good sir. Oh, the lights. We need a trivia question. Are you going to make it up? Uh, would, uh, Marissa. Oh, jeez. It can't be dirty. Marissa. Yeah. We're going to give a trivia question to the audience. Oh, sure. And whoever answers it will okay. get the light. The modifier. The light. Yeah, the whole thing. Why not? Is that louder? Do we have to raise our hands? Or oh, boy. <laughs> You're making a lot of rules. How should we do this? Yell out loud, I think. Oh, my mom's calling. Hold on. Uh, no, that's not my mom. It's... Potential spam. Oh. Potential spam calling me again. I don't like that lady. What was Beyonce's oh my first God. <laughs> movie? Beyonce's first movie. Dreamgirls? Who the hell's white? Hold on, hold on. I think it was Foxy Cleopatra. Oh. Boom! Wow. Foxy Cleopatra. I'm pretty sure. Well, that's what Marissa no, says is the right one. Wow. Austin Powell. That's good. Yeah, Foxy. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you can't. Well, you can have both of you. All right, Foxy Cleopatra. Well done, model. Let me kill this last no, don't look it up. I'm not having oh. a sister. It's the, it's I'm pretty sure. Because she was 19. What? All right. Okay, guys. If you're watching online, thanks for watching. Next week, I'll be back. We're doing sculpting light. So we're going to use actual lights. What should we get? <laughs> and we're going to talk about really uh, getting good form and shape. Okay. Thanks, guys. Also, uh, Instagram, Marissa.Roper. That's last ex-witness. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching us. Was it?